It's a long way to the moon, lads. But the green cheese of longevity will make it worth the trip. Up, up, and away! <laughs> Mr. McDuck, mm, I've never been to the moon before. Well, when it comes to space cadets, Fenton, you're a natural. <laughs> now, Gyro, why in blazes are we chewing this awful blue muck? <laughs> why, that's oxy chew, Mr. McDuck. It's my latest invention, oxygen flavored taffy. Five good chews, and you can breathe on the lunar surface without a spacesuit. Oh, and it tastes great, too. That gyro is a matter of opinion. <laughs> now, which way to the green cheese? What do you mean? Isn't it all around us? Eh? How do you figure? Everybody knows the whole moon's made of green cheese. Well, that's what my dear mama said. And it would take a feather brain like you to believe her. Ugh, sometimes I don't know what I'm gonna... Wait, what's that? Look, here's someone who could give us directions. Hello? Ah, Mr. McDuck! Help! Oh no! We've got to save him! Do we really? We do if you want to find that treasure of yours, Mr. McDuck. Fenton was carrying the Gizmo Duck suit. That's the only thing we've got powerful enough to break into the moon vault. All right, fine. Stay here and guard the supplies while I look for that bumbling bookkeeper. Looks like the same spaceship that took off with Fenton. Well, <laughs> I guess this means I'm invited on board. Oh, no, you I didn't get rich by being foolish. Oh, no, you don't. I didn't get rich by being foolish. To be number one by back and boom. Onward and upward.
is a treasure! Ugh, my arms are getting tired. Blast me bagpipes! A piece of Gizmo Duck suit! Oh, if only I had a way to open this door! Up I go! Fenton, get down from there, and stop embarrassing yourself. Mr. McDuck! Thank goodness you're here! I think those aliens wanted to suck out my brain and make an army of Fenton clones. Bah, they'd soon learn that one of you is one too many. Now, help me find a security override so we can get to your gizmo duck suit. You mean this? Security system disengaged. Fenton, you're a genius! Gee, Mr. McDuck, did you mean it? Oops. Warning, damage report. Artificial gravity system is offline. Fenton, you're a nincompoop. You broke the gravity controls. Not to worry, I'll have it fixed in a jiffy. I got a level three certificate of technology from Happy Ducky University, you know. Oh, no you don't. You'll probably slam into the self-destruct button too. I'll get us out of this. Gravity system restored. All systems normal. Nice work, Mr. McDuck. Now, let's go get my Gizmo Duck suit. Not so fast, Dunderhead. You go wait with Gyro. I'll find a Gizmo Duck suit myself. and upward. Looks 
like I found Gizmo Duck's armored suit. It's a good thing Gyro rigged up this hyperspace pocket for me to carry things around in. Now, only two more parts to find, and we can break into that moon vault. Are you here, Mrs. Beakley? Because zero gravity is the last place for bad dining habits, Mr. McDuck. There'll be no skipping meals on my watch. You're always as good as you want, my dear. Wheel. I've always wondered what Gyro was thinking when he designed this thing. Who fights crime with a unicycle? Now just one more path to find and I can get off this flying monstrosity. Duck's helmet. Oh, if I didn't know better, I'd swear Fenton actually gets smarter when he wears this thing. Oh, maybe I'm a wee bit too hard on the lad. Now that I've got all three parts, I can head back to Fenton and Gyro. Oh, I hope it's not too late.
squid in luck. I managed to find all of Gizmo Duck's suit. <laughs> oh boy! Now we can blast into the treasure vault! Just a moment, Fenton. <clears throat> Gyro, I, uh, I think I left my favorite two dollar bill under the back seat. <laughs> Would you mind getting it for me? Sure thing, Mr. McDuck. Gee, boss, why'd you send Gyro back onto the ship? So he doesn't find out you're Gizmo Duck when you put on that suit, you dunderhead. But there are only three of us here, sir. Won't he figure it out anyway when Gizmo Duck appears and I've mysteriously vanished? I wouldn't worry about that. Gyro may be a brilliant inventor, but his deductive reasoning skills are about as good as yours. Oh! Hey! Would you just get on with it? Say your secret code word and activate that confounded contraption. Code word? Gee, I can't remember it. Oh, blather and blather, Skite, I'm useless. I mean, I'm useful to the extreme. Point me toward the offending blockade so that I might deal justice upon it. Cut the dramatics, would you, and follow me. Mr. McDuck? Fenton? Gizmo Duck? Huh. They're gone. And all I could find was this two million dollar bill. Oh well, back under the seat it goes. This is the place. Gyro's calculation said the green cheese of longevity lies just beyond this door. Step aside, citizen, whilst I blast the door asunder. How was that, Mr. Mc... I mean, well, the path is clear, good sir. Good work, Gizmoduck. No. Ah, Flint Hat Plumgold. What are you doing here, you pernicious pilferer? Why, same as you, Scroogey. Trying to corner a new segment of the dairy market. <laughs> Why, you... How did you find out about the green cheese? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> but thanks for saving me the trouble of blasting through that door on my own. I'll stop him, Mr. McDuck! Halt, evildoer! No, Gizmo Duck. I need you to help me deal with the... Uh... Beagle Boys. Bah! won my back and build.
point in having a ruin here. Be merry. I made it here first. No, not the cheese. Anything but that. Great Scott. I thought that stuff was supposed to be an anti-aging culture, not an instant growth fungus. I didn't get to be number one by back and doing. Giant moon rat or no giant moon rat, nothing's going to keep this duck from that green cheese and all the green it's going to make me. <laughs>